In this episode of the SPS podcast, we're going to talk about how to use stoicism as a foundational structure for your self-performance journey. I'm also going to discuss some of the common misconceptions that people have around stoicism and this ancient philosophy and why a lot of people actually use it wrong in their lives. So let's jump into it and let's start discussing stoicism and how you can use it in your life. Welcome to the Self Performance Strategies Podcast. Unlocking the secrets of self performance so you can improve mentally, emotionally, and physically. The goal of this podcast is to help you create more freedom of time, money, and purpose. My name is Stephen, and I am your host. I believe there is always an easier way, and I am here to help you find it. Let's jump in. To the SPS podcast. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And in this episode, in the 18th episode of the SPS podcast, I want to talk about one of the dominoes in my life that sent me down a journey of self improvement, and that is reading the ancient philosophy of Stoicism. About 10 or 12 years ago, I was definitely lost, and this philosophy, this framework, these ideas from Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, they came into my life. They came into my life just through randomness. I was working for a clothing company and one of the people who I I really liked who had a brand in there was a guy called Brunello Cuccinelli and he talked about in a lot of his literature that we had to read to understand the brand. He talked a lot about Marcus Aurelius and the ancient philosophers being something that influenced his brand design which was kind of unique and I was interested in that and then around about the same time Ryan Holiday was coming out of his first books on Stoicism and Tim Ferriss was talking about Stoicism on his podcast now we're going back to 2010 11 12 here so it's a good 10 years ago but for about four or five years around that time period I fell into Stoicism pretty heavy I, I read pretty much anything I could get my hands on from the modern day writers who were talking about Stoicism to Seneca's books to Epictetus' stuff to Marx Aurelius, obviously. And I want to talk about some of the key tenets, some of the key ideas from Stoicism and how I feel like it is a foundational framework that can help you in your self-performance journey. But I also want to talk about in this podcast what I think a lot of people get wrong about it because it is it is quite popular. People talk about Stoicism quite a lot, but I, I feel like there's this bro or manosphere type of Stoic reader who doesn't really understand that stoicism involves your emotions it doesn't really doesn't really understand that stoicism involves the universe it doesn't really understand that stoicism is a philosophy about understanding yourself so you can control yourself it's not about pushing your emotions down and away and putting them in a box and ignoring them and, and just being very stoic and getting on with things it's, it's not that that for me that's not stoicism if you're avoiding having conversations with people because you're keeping your emotions locked down you're not a stoic, you're not emotionally controlling yourself properly. So that's what I want to touch on a little bit. Sorry for going off on a little rant there uh, before I jump into this podcast. But I just wanted to set the stage of what we're talking about here. And as I do of all my podcasts, I, I want to start off with quotes. I'm actually going to drop in quite a few quotes uh, in this podcast, not only from ideas for myself, but from all the stoic masters. But we want to, I want to start with the first main quote, and that's from Epictetus. Epictetus wrote this banger, or said this banger, because I think uh, Epictetus, is, all, all his work was actually recorded by one of his students. Uh, so we, never, we, never, we don't actually have the original, but uh, he said this, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. Oh, what a quote, what a doozy. Don't explain your philosophy, embody it. When I first read this, I instantly had like a, like a, a moment of like, oh shit, I need to stop talking uh, about what I'm going to do and I need to actually go out and do the things I'm going to do. You know, start delivering in my life. So actually start having those higher standards in your life, creating those standards. And that, and that's something I think philosophy and stoicism in particular really helps you embed in your life are these standards for your life, these ways to show up as a person, these ways to actually operate in your day. Now, I know there's a lot of philosophies out there, you know, Taoism, Hinduism, Buddhism, you know, for me, 
I, I like all of them, but I always feel like they're a little bit more riddly and in rhymes when it comes to what they're saying. But stoicism was just so blunt. Like that's, can, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. How blunt can you be? Literally saying, stop talking, stop talking and, and walk to walk. That literally what he was saying two and a half thousand years ago, just saying to your face, shut it and go do some work. So that's why I love stoicism because it is straight and to the point. So as I move on this podcast, I want to explain what I what I think stoicism is, what I actually would describe it. And, and I wrote this quote and it did quite well on Twitter. Maybe a couple of years ago, I wrote this uh, and I said, stoicism, what is it? Doing the right thing in every situation to the best of your skills, knowledge and abilities. That's my idea around stoicism. At any time in your life, you try to do what you think is right in that moment to the best of your skills, knowledge, and abilities. You get into a serious situation where things go wrong, you try to do the best and the right thing. You get into an argument with someone, you try to do the best and the right thing. You have a tragedy happen in, in, your, in your life, you try to do the right thing to the best of your skills, knowledge, and abilities at that moment because we're always getting better and we're always growing. We're gonna get things wrong. And I think that's a part of stoicism is that you are gonna get things wrong, but the idea is that you make decisions, you move forward, you, you get into the arena, so to speak. You embody what you're trying to be in life. You don't talk about it, you show up. And that's why I genuinely think at every turn, you have an opportunity to take a step back, observe, reflect, and then act. If you rush in or ignore the signs of what's happening, you will not be operating at your best levels and you won't be able to do the right thing. So that, that that's my idea about stoicism and that's what I think stoicism has taught me. And I feel like it's taught me to be able to make better decisions. And that's where I'm gonna take the rest of this podcast and I'm actually gonna really focus in on why does it help you make better decisions? Why does it help you have higher standards? Well, let's talk about that. What does that even mean about using stoicism to make better decisions or using stoicism to have higher standards? Well, stoicism is an emotion processing tool, in my opinion. It's a way of processing the life around you, the world around you. It can help you make better decisions. It can help you regulate your emotions. It can help you plan for the future. And it can help you deal with the ups and downs in life because it, it allows you, it allows you to observe. It allows you to then act and I'm going to go through three main quotes from the Stoic Masters to sort of support what I'm saying here. And then I'm also going to chip at a bit more some of the things that I think people get wrong with Stoicism. So the first quote I want to share is from Seneca. And he said, if you live in harmony with nature, you'll never be poor. If you live according to what others think, you'll never be rich. Seneca tells us to live in harmony with our current environments and ignore the often distracting noises of society. Basically, that's what that quote is. Pretty straightforward. But what I love about this is if you live in harmony with nature, you live in harmony with who you are, you'll never be poor. Because you'll be wealthy because you're getting success from within. If you lived according to other people and comparing yourself to other people, you'll never be rich. Now, if you use that as a framework in your life to be you, to follow you from your energy or your source, of course that's going to help you make better decisions. Of course that's going to raise your standards in your life. If you're comparing yourself constantly to other people, if you're running around and following the crowd, you're going to make shit decisions and you're going to have very low standards for yourself because you're going to change your mind very quickly. Oh, this is working for this person? Oh, well, I'm going to forget about what I was doing. I'm going to jump over and do that. That's not being congruent to yourself and that's not being in harmony with who you want to be and that means you have low standards and you're going to make bad decisions so that's my first argument or my first point here of why stoicism is a really good framework for you to start your self-performance journey or to get better at your self-performance journey to even get yourself to higher levels the second quote i want to talk about is it from epic titus again love his quotes it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Boom. Oh, what a quote. It is essential only to control what you can control. And you only control three things, really. And it really actually boils down to one thing. You only control your thoughts, your actions, and your words. 
And then when you think about it, your actions and your words come from your thoughts. It sounds simple, but it's really hard to do that, to control those three things. Because of the external, wor external world, because of your emotions, because of all the noise, you react to things. But at the end of the day, it's your thoughts, your actions, your words. It's the only thing you control in your life. Now, I've discussed this before on podcasts and in conversations with people and on the timeline on Twitter. And any time that I mention that you only control these three things, people start arguing and being like, well, you can influence and this, that, and the other. Yeah, you can influence things, but there's a massive difference between the two words in the dictionary of control and influence. You can influence lots of things in life, but you can only control your thoughts, actions, and words. Everything else is out of your control. You can influence them, sure. You can work hard because that's what you control of your actions. And that might create luck for you that gets you promoted. But getting promoted, you've got other people involved in that variables and you don't control that situation. So the massive difference between control and influence, just to clarify that, because I've had some deep conversations about this. As I mentioned, it's simple idea but it's really difficult to do but with practice this idea will lead you to make stronger decisions why well if you react badly to everything that happens around you if you get angry when things happen that's stupid it's going to create a difficult world for you but on the flip side of that and this is where i'm going to go in on people because i mentioned this earlier earlier in the podcast if there's something going on in life and you shut down you're hurt emotionally by somebody a partner or by a situation and you think well i'm being stoic i'm not going to talk about it i'm just going to bottle that up because i'm a man and i'm going to bottle that up and i'm just going to push it down and i'm not going to talk to anybody about it a couple of years later boom you just blow up on somebody and you get really angry because all you've done for the last two years is oh i'm a stoic and i'm going to push my emotions down you were never a stoic because stoicism is about controlling your thoughts, your actions, and words. It's about being in harmony with your environments, which means being in harmony with your emotions. And you regulate your emotions. And you regulate your emotions by talking about them with people, by journaling, by doing the right thing, which we'll get to in a bit with my final quote in this episode. So, stoicism is not about pushing things down and not discussing things stoicism is about doing the right thing and doing the right things that you can control and that's controlling your words your actions and your thoughts so the final quote i want to talk about of why stoicism is a great framework for you to help you in life to help you improve your self performance comes from marcus aurelius the philosopher king if it's not right do not do it if it's not true, do not say it. Marcus Aurelius. Pretty straightforward, this one. If it's not right, why would you do it? So if it's not right to get angry, why would you do it? If it's not right to bottle up your emotions, why would you do it? If it's not true, why would you say it? Why would you go around lying to people? Why would you go around hurting people with untrue words? Why would you go around bullying people or picking on people? You, would, you shouldn't do it. If it's not right, do not do it. If it's not true, do not say it. If that doesn't help you make better decisions in your life, you might be lost, in my opinion, because that's pretty straightforward. If you can live your life by that rule, if it's not right, do not do it. Well, okay, this isn't right. My moral compass is telling me this isn't right, so I'm not going to do this thing. Yeah, don't do it. If it's not true, do not say it. Pretty straightforward. When you look at those three quotes, they are showing you that you want to live in harmony with yourself. And from that harmony and being true to yourself, you want to control your thoughts, your actions, and your words. And then you want to do the right thing. You want to say the right thing and do the right thing. Because life goes by pretty goddamn fast. You can get dragged along making decisions that you may not be aware that you're making. However, if you sit down and think about stoicism and you sit down and think about these quotes, they can help you make better decisions. To live in harmony with your environments and your emotions. To control what you can control and not say things or do things that aren't right or true. Building this resilience can be challenging. 100%. I am no master at this. I spent years reading this philosophy and I still don't do the right thing always. But I'm a work 
in progress, as we all are. It takes hundreds of hours of mental training in the gym of life to come up against these situations, to come up against these emotions, to dig deeper, to really understand why you react angrily or why you shut down or to have the bravery to actually talk about your emotions with people and do the right thing and actually work through them. And that's where I'll circle back to my quote or my idea of what I think stoicism is. Doing the right thing in every situation to the best of your skills, knowledge, and abilities. Thanks very much for joining me for the 18th episode of the SPS podcast. I hope you were able to get something out of this and get a deeper understanding of stoicism and, and even think about it in a, in a different way maybe than you currently are thinking about stoicism because it really did help me. It really did help me build those foundations and values that I was maybe lacking you know, 10 or 12 years ago. So I, I have a deep appreciation for this philosophy. I may not read it as much as I used to, but it's always with me. The ideas are always with me. And I hope that with this podcast and with this episode that you, you've got that deeper understanding and, and, and an appreciation for it. So thanks very much for joining me. Again, if you want to hit me up on my socials, I'm at Steve Timoney. That's S-T-E-V-E-T-I-M-O-N-E-Y. And that's on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And then obviously my website, if you want to head on over there, I've got a free download for you. It's called the Pro Accelerator. It's on my main page at the bottom. You hit that up. It's going to help you uh, make even more money and create even more freedom of time, freedom of purpose in your life. And you can get that from my website, but go to stephentimoney.com. That's S-T-E-P-H-E-N-T-I-M-O-N-E-Y.com. And imagine waking up in 30 days or 90 days with a whole new perspective on your business and your productivity and performance. And that's what we're trying to do here with the SPS podcast, trying to help you be better. So thank you very much for joining me in this episode. And hopefully we'll speak to you in the next one. Make it a good one.